Hello, shiny, happy people. Welcome to Kim's Crafts. My name is Kim. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're back, thank you for coming back. Um, I hope everyone's enjoying this Diamond Painting Deutschland Unicorn Kiss journey. And I wanted to show you what I've gotten done so far. So um, it is Sunday night. And this video will come out tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon, Monday. Um, and I got done a lot more than I was expecting to get done. So I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. Oh, and look at my nails. I got my nails done. Yay. Okay. So I actually was not able to work on it the last two days because, you know, I had my little trip. So I actually, uh, in the hotel, I did non-diamond painting, diamond painting things, if you know what I mean. So I had to kit down my Scorpio, kit down Lady Butterfly, and then kit up uh, Beauty and the Bear. And I worked on organizing my drills. And I'm going to show you guys eventually how I'm doing that. I'm actually running out of room, so I'm probably going to put it in a different box because I already own the box and uh, I just didn't think I needed such a big box. And I'll show you after I do that. I also updated my journals because I was a couple paintings behind. So I will be coming out with, uh, cause I, I'm currently doing two journals. Um, so uh, I just have like one more picture that I have to really print up and then put in there. And then I'm going to do a video on my journals and how I'm keeping track of them, and my paintings. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. Uh, how is that? Isn't that beautiful? So there's been a lot of, believe it or not, color blocking in the rainbow and stuff. And uh, this has been the most confetti that I had to do so far. Um, but I'm going to tell you guys, take the time. If you do a diamond painting Deutschland, really take the time to kit up. I, it took me a good four days, one day of looking over all of the symbols and organizing them in a, in a way that made sense to me. So you have to do it in a way that's going to make sense to you. Um, and then it took me three days to actually kit up. So, um, I, I, I highly recommend taking those steps because it has made this so, it, it does not feel overwhelming at all. Um, even though there's 225 colors, you know, if I see a camera, I'm, I'm like, okay, technology, I go and find the technology area. So it just, it makes a lot of sense to me. And I'm just shuffling through these five boxes. I just, I keep them three long and then two on top. And it's, let me show you. So I keep them like this. I don't put them on the canvas. So if God forbid the canvas pulls down, I'm not dragging these. They stay on the solid surface. And the nice thing about these is I'll... I'll keep them like this. Okay. And so I just slide this, this would be open, and I would just slide this one back and forth. And there's another one, and again, I would slide the two. And if I needed something under this one, I don't even have to slide it all the way over here if, if I need this, because it comes out within only halfway, you know? So it, it, it take the time to kit up it, and then it won't feel so overwhelming. Um, another thing that I did, and I didn't do this on purpose, um, it's just the way I did it, is the categories that I made that had the most amount of colors, I, I started most of the boxes like that. So like this whole side is triangles. 
and then this whole side is squares. This whole side up until um, here is transportation, and then these are circles. So it's it gets easy to remember. This is all technology and then office. So I took the ones that had the most, and I started with that on that side. So it, it becomes pretty easy because it almost takes up a whole side to remember where the categories are. Um, and then here's the fifth box. And this whole side is tools, the whole side. So that's how I've been working out of the boxes. And it's been, it's been moving along. So another thing that I did, um, I cut these all even. They are four 10 by 10 squares across and then three down. And um, you can see they're all even. And so I actually put how many hours it took to do each square. So this first square, you know, I even though there was a lot of a, a decent amount of color blocking, not even color blocking, but a lot of the same color um, drills in it, it took me two hours and 24 minutes because I was getting used to the boxes. And then this one took me two hours and 19 minutes. And then this one took me one hour and 55 minutes, even though you can see there's some confetti here. And then this one took me two hours and five minutes. And then this one took me two hours and six minutes, even though it had the most confetti in it. So, you know, I'm getting a little used to it. So I kept that, I already cut this sleeve so this is another four by three square. And this one is actually, I think, four and a half. Yeah, so it's a little longer. And then I'll go down three. And that's how I'll do it all the way down. So I'm gonna try to keep track of the time it takes to do a square. Um, but so far I basically have two, four, six, eight, ten, maybe ten and a half hours in this painting so far. So I thought about also keeping track of how many colors I had to go into for each square, but that would have taken a long time to um, record. <laughs> you know, doing a dash every time I went into a new box, that would have, and then if I had to go double dip into a box, go back into a box and forgot I went, it just would have been too confusing. But this is, the drills have been phenomenal. Um, I have been finding some drills with a, a tab on it here and there, um, but not a significant amount at all. They've been really, really good. And you can see how shiny they are. This has just been, it has been so much fun working on. And like I said, just taking that extra time to kit up has really made it not feel overwhelming at all when I'm working on it. So I've been having a lot of fun. I want to finish this row tomorrow and then tomorrow um, start Beauty and the Bear and get my uh, week's worth of um, painting done on that one. You know, I, I'll do a quarter of it and then I'll go back to this one until next week. So that's where I'm at. I. I don't really um, have anything else to say, except that I'm thinking I shouldn't have put the washi tape up here because these won't stay up now. And it's not like I rub along it, but uh, e eventually I am, I am going to put it down the side here. And you can see where I cut off the legend over here you know, we're not even as close to the edge as this other side. So if you do get it and you want to do the same thing, uh, I haven't had any issues with fraying, but if that becomes an issue, I will certainly let you know. They look exactly the same, except this isn't as straight. <laughs> this side isn't as straight because I cut it. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun. The pool noodle is working out well. I haven't noticed any issues with any of the canvas as I've been pulling back, no rivers or bubbles. 
So that's good. And what I do, um, well, especially when I went away, I uh, took my kit and I hung it up and I put all the drills away and I just cleared off all of my diamond painting stuff. Um, and then I just pulled it out uh, today when I got home. So of course I will hang it up in between working on it with the beauty and the bear. So anytime I'm not working on it, it will be hung up. So that's, that's how it's going. I'm very happy. I am still completely, totally single placing. So uh, these times are all with me single placing, even though there was plenty of areas for me to multi-place. And I was pleasantly surprised at that the double-sided adhesive does have some bounce to it. And I, you know, you can slide the drills um, a little bit. So, uh, but that was my main concern was uh, about multi-placing was that I heard it's a little stickier and, and, you know, there's not as much give. So I didn't want a lot of crooked lines and stuff. And I'm just enjoying the single placing, doing the checkerboard when possible, but I think I'm really going to be running into um, more areas that I'm not, that's not even going to be an option anyway. So yeah, what do you guys think? You can see that's um, the start of the unicorn's mane. Look how shiny. So that's what I have for you this week. Uh, I will update you guys again next Sunday on how far I get and uh, if I run into any issues. If you like this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on your way out, and if you want to see more content from me, um, it, you could hit that subscribe and ring the bell and it'll let you know when I upload. I do plan on uploading at least once a week an update on this project. I am I do have a playlist with all of my unboxing and kitting up and preparing the canvas uh, under a playlist called Deutschland. And um, if you just wanna come along with me on this journey and watch me complete this monster, I am so grateful and I welcome everyone. Take care, keep diamond painting.